can't wait to find out what we're doing this year, Dave. You know, it's it's uh, it's coming together. I nearly nearly have it there. So uh, yeah, in a couple of minutes, we'll have it uh, sorted. I need to go to Japan. What? I don't have time to explain. I gotta go to Japan. What is up guys, it is our first video of 2024. Happy New Year, welcome back to the channel. Today we are here in Japan. We just flew all the way from Ireland through Abu Dhabi. We're back in Japan for a very, very important reason. Something monumental is happening for Drift Games this year. But before we get to all that, let's get a taxi, get to the hotel, and I'll fill you in then. I can't help but feel insane. That's the fuck Ah, we're dangerous out here. Wabaki. 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 You gotta put them on. So we saw uh, pictures of this online and it looked pretty interesting. Bizarre. What's it like, Lucas? You are not allowed to ever get any more hotels. Ever. What are we at an office? <laughs> I have a full conference here. I was gonna say this work desk. You're sleeping on that couch, that wooden ass couch. Why are you talking so? Get to work. Get to work, <laughs> Lucas. This is like a sweatshop for computers. This is not in the pictures like this. I think there's a downstairs, Lucas. I think we jumped ahead. Well, hopefully. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> it's actually Squid Games. Why is it just one mattress here? Oh, four, five, six. That's the number, bro. That's the one I won, oh, though. I forgot to tell you guys something. Uh. Bike's room upstairs. Oh! This is your room, boys. With all these crazy... I don't know what these are. These comic, anime, comic books. Anime comics. You you're dude. never... Jo Josh is not allowed to rent any more rooms ever you, again. You love this sort of stuff. Light read this is good for you, Josh, because you can't read anyway, so all the pictures are the same as when you normally you read them. The it smell in this place hey! is like... Hey! Initial D, let's go. Initial D. That's pretty cool. That's, that's turned the place around. There we go, Lucas. Look here, Eric. <laughs> the famous shots, look. That's super cool. Okay, this has made it pretty cool. Oh, just one little book made this place okay. <laughs> no, it's not okay. Well, it's it's got character, you would say. It's um. It smells like it has character. <laughs> hey, I won. Did, did, didn't take long. Are you the winner? I'm the winner from season one. Oh, what am I? I like your number though, it's, it reminds me of the 240SX. I thought you'd like it because if you rearranged it, it'd be um, something else. <laughs> family Mart. Family, family Mart. Lucas talked me through this. Alright buddy, you need to try this. Nope. You're a big milk tea guy, you, but you just need you just need to try it. Just try it. No, if you don't like it, I'll drink it. You want a hot one, right? You like hot. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you like hot. Lucas, I've tasted this before and it's got it's got sugar in. I don't like sugar. You come to Japan and you get water. Just take it. Just try it. If you don't it like it's it, it's, it's safe. Dollar. Water it's is safe. I'm I, it's a dollar. Your body is not your tumble in Japan. Enjoy. Kiwi peach and tangerine sandwich. What else would it be? Fruit sandwich. It's disgusting. That's something that should never go in a sandwich. I'm always in the snack aisle in Japan, so these crunchies are really good. Everything's a bit strange, but you, you 
probably want to try something like best fried chicken in Japan is at like Family Mart, 7 Eleven, and stuff like that. So get one of these or these, and I'll be set. Or even like stuff like that. Dude. I'm so out of my comfort zone right now. <laughs> All right, where we go? All right, you ready for this shit? Look at this. So smart. You just rip right there, and you got yourself. What is that? A little chicken liver. That is it. Wasn't a great day, not gonna lie. No? So we're heading to Tokyo Auto Salon this weekend. We got some big news uh, on all fronts actually, but we gotta do one thing we always do when we come to Japan, which is even though we're tired, go to Daikoku, see what's about. There might be nothing there, there might be something. That's the glory of it, you just don't know. So we're gonna drive in, see if some cool cars, and Josh has never been there before, so gonna get his reaction. I'm very excited. So is this just like a normal night here? Yep, every night of the week there's something here. You don't know if there's gonna be loads of cars, some cars. But with Tokyo Auto Salon on, there's probably a couple of people coming here before they go there. So yeah, it's gonna be some interesting stuff. I, I, the best thing about here, if Lucas doesn't kill all the people walking around, um, is that it's a mix of everything like you just don't some nights to be JDM stuff some nights to be crazy stuff even full-on drift cars with full liveries like everything will just be out said this in previous videos that you can be into any sort of car in Japan and there'll be a night somewhere here in Daikoku where 30 or 40 will meet up. Tonight it looks like it's all Toyota 11s, the front wheel drive, 20 valves, um, and there's like 50 of them here. So we, we gotta bring it, Josh. This is like the Mecca here, so um, you never know what's gonna roll through. This is just, what day are we on Thursday? Just a casual Thursday? Casual Thursday night, there must be over 100 cars here, all modified, all JDM stuff and some weird European stuff mixed in as well, so it's pretty cool to see. The actual car from Tokyo drift that was. So Dustin Williams bought the car from the movie, restored it, shipped it back to Japan, that's why it's just rolled out there on California plates. This place is random, like random random. Very random. Everywhere you look you're like, oh there's an Evo wagon, there's some random R31 Skyline, there's an E36, there's like, on a casual Thursday in a car park in Japan, it's probably better than any car show you'll see anywhere in the world. It's mental. Look at that! That's like an Evo wagon. Yep. I've never seen that before. What? <laughs> Lucas's mind. Luke, blown. Lucas's mind is exploded. Just seen something pretty special rolling through the outside of the car park here. There's always one or two really special cars here, and I think these are the most special that are here. We're gonna go look. They are uh, two RWBs that have just uh, rolled in. Yeah, you spend how long in your life going to car shows trying to find RWBs, and then you find two just roll through randomly here in the car park, along with kid gt Yeah, it's one of those places you try and do a video on and talk about it, but you're just standing there going, oh, that's all you can do, because it's so cool. We know the secrets of underneath them now. Uh, we've watched one being built, which we're very fortunate to say. We actually saw Nakai build one in Australia a couple of weeks ago. And you get to appreciate them a lot more when you've seen someone build them by hand. So, super cool. Not the most convenient car park. Cool car though. That's, I don't know, I have such a soft spot for those absolutely slammed on stock Aero S13s. I really want to build one of them. 
So cool. So you just got rid of one PS13, so you may as well just get another one. Maybe, maybe. A handful of these in Ireland, and one just casually rolls in. As I said, it's like a rolling car show here, and this is just another random Thursday, and there's stuff you probably wouldn't see in your whole lifetime anywhere else, which is just mad. And it's just a car park. It's not a car show, it's not been organized. And then you can stand here in an hour's time, every car in here would be completely different. They just come for a while, chill out, have a chat, head off again, and then you have another flow of cars coming in. So it's not just this, it's like constant rotation. So every night could be 500 really cool cars that stop in here, which is and just every night of the week. That's pretty much the international sign to go. Every now and again, you just see the, the flashing lights and you go, well, that's the end of the fun here, so let's move on. Policia say no, no. We're literally the first people at Delgado Salon at the door. The line is behind us. This is the first time we've ever been early for anything in our lives. Dave, this is the first time you've been in front of a line. You know what? I'm Better at the back of the line where I usually am. Or, <laughs> sorry, are you still open? Because we got a bit late and we're a bit delayed. So this must show how excited we are for the show as opposed to most of the shows we go to. We're late, but we're early. <laughs> I told you on a slant. It's Drift Games. How wild is that? Drift Games! Drift Games! Just get the, get the word out there to nobody. I think right now, Drift Games has the biggest presence at Tokyo Auto Salon because there's, cause there's three of us and there's nobody else here. So, good shout, good shout. Drift Games! Drift Games! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we uh, spent the first hour or two at Tokyo Auto Salon going around getting like B-roll, reels. Obviously, when people come in, it's hard to shoot the cars because there's so many people here, and there's a lot of people here already. And we're starting here with uh, something quite cool. So these are our friends from Japan, which we've made friends with over the last two trips we've been here. Ryu say this is his D1 car, and would you believe it actually has some Drift Games branding on there, which they decided, because we were coming to check out the show, they put some, some Drift Games on there. We're above Lucas there. We're just above Lucas, and then, <laughs> Like it's a pretty wild moment for us, like a small Irish company, to have drift games on cars in the Tokyo Nissan and all up along the door. You know it's quite funny, so there's a show back in England which would be a lot closer to Thailand. Autosport. Not, yeah, the Autosport. Not one uh, drift game sticker in Autosport. That is pretty wild. And then in Japan. <laughs> in Japan we have got two cars with drift games branding on there. And these are our friends from Japan who we've gone drifting with in the past and it's on the Origin Labo stand. So. Very, very cool. And sitting right beside El Nakamura's car right here. So this is a cool spot to be with our stickers here. So yeah, that's not the reason we're here, but the boys just said they'd throw them on to say welcome to us for coming to the show for the first time. I've never been here before. As I said, Josh has never been here before. And there's a big reason we're here, but we're gonna get to that later in the video. But until then, I think it's time we just do the usual Drift Games, ramble around and see the cool stuff. And to be honest, there's so much cool stuff here. Is it time? It's time to go for a ramble and oh. try and find some oh. stuff. Oh, there's some, some stuff. There's some stuff here, now, lads. There's some mighty <laughs> stuff you'll want to see. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a big warning. This is gonna be a long video because there's a lot to get through here. I'm gonna start with one of the wildest RX-7s I think I've ever seen. So this is obviously a show car built for stance. It's probably got the deepest dish rear wheels I've ever seen. And the attention to detail on the air setup and the audio setup oh, is just, just, oh, ridiculous. It's got a full LCD screen inside, which is covered over by all of this 3D cut plastic, I guess, or Lexan. You know what, this, this takes it back to uh, Pin My Ride. Like, if you want a screen in front of your screen, this... <laughs> Has a screen in the front screen of the screen box. You have the screen broke because I know you like your screen in your screen. But it's before in screen. Remember that you get that on your computer. And it's got a gated gear knob. House of color, candy red. Like the front dish is what you use on the back of any car, and the camber is wild. This style still very much exists, and I think it looks absolutely. This is executed beautifully. A very expensive car, I can imagine to build, but yeah, Oric Sevens always look cool. When they look like this, they look even cooler. Me and Josh had a little look at this on the way in. So this is the same as Josh's NC MX-5. Well, kind of not the same. Well, it's definitely not the same because you would have no interest. I'd have in no that. interest if it was an NC. 
But for some reason they've put mini headlights on this, a different front bumper, a clamshell rear bumper, and a Toyota badge. Yeah, the, the Toyota badge, I'm not too sure. Not, but I do like the mini headlights on the back. I presume they're from another car as well. What do we think the rear lights are from? I don't know. Like a GT86 or some aftermarket kit. No, it's just a singular search, but I'm not too sure. But there's not a massive amount of done to this. I think the line there kicks up a little bit, and obviously it's got a different... Yeah, the whole rear of it is... Let's be honest. The answer here is, should we ask how much this kit is, and should we get it for Josh's drift car NC? Because then it would look like... I wouldn't put a Toyota badge on it, but everything else, I think this looks absolutely classic. It does, it completely modernizes the car. It doesn't look like an old, frumpy MX-5 NC. It actually looks like a modern coupe. Your drift car could look very cool with this. I think so. Let us know in the comments, should Josh inquire about this kit? Because it's already launched at the Tokyo Auto Salon, so we know nothing about it, but we are going to try and chase it up during the show. So the big question was, what is it? And we didn't really know at the start, but if you look closely, no, no, it's always the door and the roof line are the things they can't change. So this is actually a DC5 Type War Integra with a, the new Prius front end and a Lexus rear end. And it actually looks absolutely class because I think it's a controversial <laughs> statement that the new Prius actually looks really good. Maybe we'll edit that out, Josh. I, I didn't want to say that out. This is a very, very cool car. And then also, I took a sneaky look earlier on. If you just look inside, it's just a Honda Integra Type R, so it was easy to figure out. So, uh, that was the giveaway for me, is the inside. Not, you can't change the dash. Like, it's nice, it's all flocked, it looks really cool. But it's it screams Type R Integra DC5. <laughs> and the back end is a Lexus. I think it's a Lexus. Well, it has to be. Is it? Are you sure it's a Lexus? I think so. Yeah, it looks like the Lexus IS 250 rear end. Please correct us in the comments. I'm sure. You're, you, you're never wrong now. Some casual guns. A casual machine gun in the back of a Hilux Surf. <laughs> to a light. I love a good jazzy light. But you, you're in the right place here. You got the fancy S15. Oh, they do. I like those ones. Oh, I like, the top I ones. like these ones. This is when the video gets pretty pricey. <laughs> Not buying anything. Not buying anything. Not buying anything. You got told off last time you came back from told Japan. Told off a lot for buying stuff the last time, so I'm not buying stuff anymore. He's not even told you all the things that he bought. Unless it's cheap. If it's cheap, then I can't say no. And I can bring it home in my suitcase to avoid customs and shipping. So technically, it's free if you think about it. Yeah, I get home and the boys in the office give out because I've spent all our budget on jazzy lights. But if they were here and they could see how jazzy they are, they would probably say, "What a bargain! Buy more jazzy lights." I think that's what they'd say. I'll text. Them. I don't think so. They text. Them. They're on different time zones, so they won't reply by for six hours, and then I'd already have bought them. Yeah. So that's usually what I do. And then by the time they wake up, I'm like, oh, you should have told me. Then I get to three in the morning when you sent me that message, Dave. Too late, snooze, you lose. I say, there you go, Dave. Am I wrong, though? Like, this is the new Prius. It looks really good. If that was a rear-wheel drive car, you'd be all over it. Still a Prius. Still a Prius. <laughs> Cool seeing all the D1 cars here. Yeah, that's Sunaga's car, which is the same as Yukoi's car, the D Max team. All of the D1 cars are all lined up here, but they're all freshened up because when I saw these at Odaiba, they were a lot more crunched up than they are now, so they obviously got them all redone because this is the biggest show for those cars for the year. This thing is cool, look at this. What is this? This is a Mark X. So it's like later Toyota. And it, it's mostly for comfortable backseat driving or backseat passengers, but not so much here, it's got massive sense. I say saying that on a long journey to the pub, you'd feel that every minute. With the brown notes, everybody just goes boom. <laughs> we tried that before and it didn't happen. Now, that could be a cool editing suite. You're trying to buy stuff and Luke's trying to sell an edit suite. An edit suite. You know, you, 
usually on the side of a car you see a like turbo to emphasize the turbo ability yeah, you of the car. Everyone know you've got a turbo. Well, <laughs> it's a non-turbo. Non -tur Just in case you thought it was a turbo, this is a non-turbo. <laughs> I like that. It's honest. <laughs> so what's great about Japan and also funny to me is when they have English slogans for all of their vehicles that you know what they're trying to say but it doesn't quite make sense but then I guess we have Japanese slogans on our stuff so you turn around I mean God only knows what that says yeah we only have to go so like for example you'd say make an ideal make a difference which does kind of make sense but it's not how you would say that make an ideal make an ideal make a difference I guess what they're trying to say here is a vision make a vision and then make a difference but they could have said vision instead of ideal which would make it sound better but i'm not their marketing department i'm gonna stay out of this one because my di my dyslexia will not it's a non-turbo it's a non-turbo <laughs> never confuse this with a turbo again i'm warning you this is still just the media day so this isn't the busy day but oh it's this busy here it's pretty busy this is one of our favorite cars so this is a nissan cube that they've decided to put a 1970 something bluebird front and rear end kind of style on which i think looks absolutely amazing don't know how but it really goes the one thing about a van in ireland that always has the same it's white and it's a big, transit big pile of shit on the dashboard <laughs> they even kept it going uh, to the back as well it's um <laughs> Like, there's a lot going on be a fan of this like if you wanted something really cheap and quirky and cool that's what it is I'm not sure how cheap this would be but present a Datsun from the 70s that's for sure <laughs> speaking of which Datsun's from the 70s <laughs> so we got two very very special cars so a place called Star Road very famous uh, Z shop in Japan I don't think it's this one I think it's this one or is it this one one of these I think it's this one they are actually time attack cars that are able of doing a sub one minute lap at Susuba, which is like kind of the benchmark for fast cars in Japan. One of these has a crazy engine bay. Now, they're both closed now, but it's like 600 horsepower, 500 horsepower, something like that in the old school original engine rebuilt. Um, both of these running very interesting. I think they are Star Road kits. That one looks like the Rocket Bunny Pandem kit. This one, I don't know. This is beautiful. PS13s. A lot of people ask in the comments why we call them PS13s and not S13s. So just to clarify that, in the UK, the 180SX was called the S13. So we use P in front of it, like a chassis code, to separate it from a coupe to a hatch. Only really in our part of the world. Everywhere else it's just a 180 or a 240 or whatever. But that's why we call them PS13s. Hey Josh. I have never seen any woman pose over an SR20 as enthusiastically as this before. She never had no. one blow up. No, she never had one blow up. <laughs> She's literally standing there going, me and this engine are similar. High maintenance and probably leave very quickly. That's probably what, that's what it means. I'm not sure I would put Yankee mate on the front. Yeah, that could, that, that could insinuate something else. It's, they, it's not racist because they don't understand what they're saying. Yankee, mate. I think this model of High Ace looks savage. They've got a key break here, Lucas. Japanese tea break, I guess. What we've got here is some beautiful VIP cars. We've got what I think is two centuries you can correct me in the comments this is a century i don't know what this is but i think this is also a century could be a newer one they're could huge the second part of the video where you could possibly be wrong this is your chance folks to correct us because we are idiots they're huge car bigger than an s-class big which is cool and these are super stands out full vip full color-coded interiors baller and i think this one is meant to look even more baller because they put loads of really expensive clothing from shops in the back in bags what no they have maybe so anyway that's the vip lifestyle josh you would understand it you oh would, i've got primark and pennies in the yeah, back you would you have the opposite of vip lifestyle this is, <laughs> you can't put a, a pennies bag in the back of a vip car it just sure doesn't Sarah buys all his clothes why are you have to arm me like that you're yeah. reading up the uh, facts on this well, you're trying to find the English words amongst the Japanese and it's hard to know what any of the cars are because we don't have someone here telling us. But this is a full carbon fibre, old school Porsche, and every single panel is carbon fibre inside and out. 
So I'm trying to figure out if it started as a Porsche or is it just a reproduction. It's definitely a resto mod, probably a resto mod. And then we've got the old new kit here, which one of our friends has in Ireland, but this green color with the soft top I've never seen before. And it's got newer like GT3 style seats, which is quite cool. So very, very nice car. I think it's very hard to make a soft top look well with a spoiler, but I actually think this one, one think. this one pulls it off pretty well. Did you even notice that there's like a Lamborghini Urus right here? No, no. Nope. <laughs> I didn't even. It's a great car there. <laughs> look at this. I like just how it's called, old and new. Something different. Just something different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so biggest stand at the whole Tokyo Auto Salon is Liberty Walk, and that is also the reason we are here. We're gonna get to that in a minute. I promise, I promise we get to that in a minute. I just want to talk you through a quick overview of all the cars they've brought to the show, because there is a lot. I would say this is the most popular car at this show, I'd say. 100%, but this one, for some reason, this shouldn't work, but it works really well. I actually, one of my favorite cars here, just the gold, the, the, the black, the carbon, the aero discs, everything works really, really well on this. I love the graphics of it. It's like kind of a, obviously a spray paint at the front. It's, it's a neat drip, and then you got like a not yeah, so neat drip. Very, very cool. 650S, 720s, 670s, something. This is one of the newest kits they've done, which is for the Murcielago, which is a silhouette kit this for the Murcielago. This is just incredible. It's outrageous. This for me, they've kind of made it look like a hurricane, I think. The bonnet goes over the headlights to make it give a newer line. And then obviously the wing and the shark fin are just unbelievable. Like the wing is, if you look at the width of the wing on the back, it's huge. Right, more old school cars from Liberty Walk. Kind of sounds uh, old school cars. So we've got a Camary here, which unusually they've done a collaboration with the Smurfs which sounds weird, but it's very Japanese. So they're selling hoodies and t-shirts as a collaboration with the Smurfs. I don't know why, but the Smurfs, I guess. Well, and I mean, there's a big line for it, so, so buying, something's working. Buying li yeah, you go, watch, watch, watch. Right there. Yep. Liberty Walk and the Smurfs. Two people I thought, or two brands I thought would never cross over, making it happen. Then we've got a Hokosuka here, which looks lovely. It's got the old school oil cooler on the front, very, very old because it's a beautiful car. And then this is their new 400Z kit, which looks amazing as well. The 400Z looks well, but this making the front or the front of the bumper, I suppose, from there from bottom, that makes it look way more like a 240Z than it does like a 400Z. So it gives that old school look, especially with the pumped out flared arches like the 240Z would have. And the stand continues. This is where all the wilder cars are. So you've got the Oryx 7, which is now in its old school mass delivery. So this is like kind of that old school Porsche Le Mans style on an RX-7, which doesn't really look like an RX-7 anymore. No, there's so an RX-7 under, there, under somewhere. there somewhere. So it changes the lines of the cars completely. Some people love this kit, some people hate this kit. Personally, I think it just challenges what an RX-7 is, so I quite like it. I like something a bit different. If you're a purist, you're going to absolutely hate this kit, but I think it looks absolutely savage. And the same with the R34 silhouette kit. We saw this car last year at Players Goodwood, uh, the Players Classic, but I still think it looks timeless. It's like the old JTCC touring car silhouette kit which looks amazing so as far as i know that's the old engine from the 70s or the yeah late 70s gtr that they've tuned and put into an r34 a very cool thing in itself to actually do to get an older engine to put in yeah to a more modern car with itbs so that's very very cool so have the new look for their wide body f40 so this is the only f40 in the world that has been cut up and wide-bodied and Liberty Walk were brave enough to do it. They have another two cars they're revealing this weekend, so we're going to see them in this video. But um, this car caused a lot of controversy. There's only so many F40s in the world. There's only so many like, owners that would even bother changing the color. When people resprayed them, people got shocked about it. But then, obviously, Liberty Walk said, no, let's cut it up, put our own personal wide body on it. This car broke the internet last year. It was white. You probably recognize it. You've seen it online. It's now in this old-school Le Mans livery. Um, looks absolutely savage. I do think that's what's so cool about Liberty Walk is they do take the rarest cars in the world and just take a saw to it. Yeah, but they're, this is their point. They're saying that their controversy was what started the brand. So they didn't want to lose that controversy. So every year, that's why people gather all around here to see what they've done 
what car have they taken. We know one of these is a Countach because they've teased it on their social media, but nobody knows what it looks like. So this is the first time anybody will have seen the kit on the Lamborghini Countach. And again, super rare car. They've cut up a F40, they've cut up a Countach just to put body kits on them. And they know, which is crazy, there's no market for this. So it's not like they made a body kit where other, no other F40 owner is going to cut up their car to lose the value on it. So the amazing thing is that they'll do it just to get attention and it's working for them. Personally looking forward to what's under there as it's quite small and no idea so it's going to be exciting. GTR. He's still reading. He's still reading. <laughs> GTR. 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 <laughs> Silvia. Silvia. Integra. <laughs> it's a worrying thing with our hoodies because we don't speak Japanese. We've got someone to translate it for us, but we don't know until right now if they've translated it to, to make fun of us. Or and he doesn't speak English, so we can't tell us what it says. That's a lot of words to, to risk with. That is like... That's you, a, you could be saying some real, real, inappropriate stuff. You're like real pretty. Hey, karaoke boys. <laughs> so uh, it's super busy here, so sorry if we can't get tons of uh, space. But uh, they got another 400 Z here, and then that's something you'd be into. 500 a bar. This is how the bar should have always been. Should Mine always. was never this cool. No, yours didn't look this cool, but that looks really, really cool. And uh, before we go any further, and there's music in the background, for the lads back home, there's only one Liberty Walk, and I wouldn't even say a car that they're gonna wanna see. For all the Tang boys, the brown shoes and the check shirts, Liberty Walk have you covered. Full on track. It's basically a full body kitted, wide body, tractor unit but it looks class it's even got like canards everywhere like all the body line going into there and like i don't know if it'll show on camera but the size of that spoiler is like it's not a spoiler dave it's a bed it's that's yeah. i've seen smaller beds it's ridiculous and it's a perfect shelf for whatever they're selling here <laughs> i think this is probably one of my standout things from the show is that not only are it's all supercars and very cool cars, but like to do a truck, like a custom body kit for a truck, is wild. Well, I saw this as a render, and we were only talking about this beforehand. But like, they're not going to be stupid yeah, enough to make this. I thought it was just some computer like generated render I saw on their Instagram, but it's actually a real thing. So that's wild. Photographers are getting uh, pictures of the girls. A lot of pictures of the girls from the Japanese lads. Big uh, and Lucas. <laughs> I got you, boys. We're not going to get any B-roll here for the next 10 minutes. This is quite cool. This is a Mitsoka. So this is like a Japanese supercar hypercar. It's a very questionable design. And then Liberty Walk put a wide body on a very questionable design. And then this has got now also a retro Mazda Le Mans livery. Let me just go to the front and show. Like. I know koi fish are big in Japan. Like, is it designed to be like a fish? I think, well, it doesn't look like anything else but a fish, so I presume. I'd say they did a pretty nice job with their supercar. I like it. If they made the Verosa into a supercar, this is... I wouldn't insult the Verosa. <laughs> I would say this is one of the worst looking cars ever made, in my opinion. Sorry, Lucas is... <laughs> <laughs> can't, bring, can't bring them anywhere. I love the Japanese ladies. All right, before Liberty Walk unveil their two very new yeah, special cars. Car. Two special cars. We are the reason we are here is because we are announcing officially that Drift Games is partnering with Liberty Walk for a very special project this year. I and cannot wait. That. We're not going to tell them what the car is yet. We're going to yeah. keep that a secret. But oh. it's not. It's not something that you've ever seen on the channel before. It's a car you won't believe we're building. Yeah, it's a special one. Very special car. So it's a show car and a drift car. Yeah. Never been built before, I think. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Man. It's going to be wild. So Toshi and the guys at Liberty Walk yeah. believe in the project, and we are so proud to be partnering with you yeah, guys. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Because you guys are building some of the craziest cars in the world right now. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. So yeah. we're going to wait and see their two brand new builds, and that is the official announcement from this video, is that Drift Games, Liberty Walk, partnering up for a European tour in 2024, and we're building a car with Liberty Walk. Yeah. 
and it's going to be very wild. So Toshi's going to be busy for about three days now <laughs> taking photos. So we caught him before and you can see the crowds building already. We can't wait to see these amazing cars. And you never know, you might see one in Europe yeah, down the line. You never know, you never know. <laughs> all right, Toshi, thank you so much for yes, all your thank support. You. Thank you for your time. We can't wait. We are partnering with Liberty Walk. Oh, it says Liberty Walk at some point, I think. Wait. I can't understand the rest of it. This wall, the Liberty Wall. Deep in my thoughts when I didn't have it Sleeping on the floor, wishing it was a mattress Now I'm in Hollywood with actors and actress Where everybody bougie, latest trends and fashions I'd rather keep it a book Very cool, very cool Oh my god, can you imagine driving around like Lithuania with like I've never wanted something so much in my life. So there you have it guys, it is the world's first wide body Lamborghini Countach. They've cut up a Countach, they've cut up an F40. Liberty Walk are just changing the game and of course that's where they started from. Changing people's perceptions of what a purist car is and just being open to modifying any car. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I'm sure you guys will agree. Let us know in the comments what you think it is. Is this sacrilege or is this evolution? All right guys, just wanted to step outside, take a moment. It's uh, pretty overwhelming in there. And yes, this is, this is happening. Drift Games. The boys that started in a shed in Kildare are partnering up with one of the biggest automotive brands in the world to build a one of one car that nobody's ever done before. It is not a car you've seen on the channel. It's a car that we bought late last year. Nobody has seen it yet. And in the next couple of weeks, we'll be starting the build and bringing that car on a European tour. Um, just mind blowing that this is how far things have come. This is not just another partnership for us. This is a dream come true. So thank you to everybody for watching, everybody who supported us. We're always trying to push the boundaries, do crazy stuff for people in Europe. And we promise you this car is gonna be, this is gonna be a game changer. So thank you guys for watching. We've got tons more content coming from Japan. I'm just gonna need a moment to sit down and actually realize that this is real life. And yeah, we got more from the auto salon coming up in the next couple of videos. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. I don't really know what else to say. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, but uh, it's gonna be very exciting. 24 is looking wild. No contest. There ain't no one like cause of you dumb or you crazy There's no way G, me and my clique we handling biz While you and your clique just act full gazy You couldn't persuade me To give a damn it, this don't phase me I got my Xbox, she can't play me Money in a text box, I get paid